Now EA games are available on GeForce Now, both EA Play via Steam and Origin work. So how do you go about claiming those games? First of all, for Steam versions, if you have subscribed to EA Play on Steam, then you don't need to do anything extra apart from just go and pick the game that you want to play. Since the addition of the EA games, I've had to log in again, but hopefully only the once. And then you'll see that you'll get a couple of extra dialogues if you haven't already activated this game on your Steam account with EA Play you will have to accept the EA Play terms and conditions before you can launch the game. Once that's done, that's all you have to do, and after a minute or two, the game will then finish loading. So that's Unravel 2, that I had not claimed before on Steam or EA Play, now running on GeForce Now using that subscription. Now on the Origin front, it's a little bit more involved. So if I switch the Origin version here for Mirror's Edge, then we get a couple of extra steps to bear in mind. So you will need to log into Origin at least once. Now I've only had to log into Origin once, so it does seem to remember like Steam Login does across the different games, which is a huge bonus. However, we do have to deal with the Origin launcher as well as the GeForce Now startup browser. So once you get into game, if you don't have the game already in your library, you'll get this dialog pop up asking you to activate the game. So don't worry about that, just say that you're going to add the code. It will bring up the code entry window and we're just going to cancel out of that. So cancel out of both windows. So just use the search to find the game. It won't let you install any other games here, so it's just not worth trying. And then we go and find the game and add it to the library. It will ask you to download with Origin, but this is actually already pre-installed. It's just effectively activating the license. You can do this in advance using the Origin desktop app or even the website. But if you do forget and you get that dialog, at least you know that you can activate it from the launcher inside GeForce Now. Once that's activated, all you have to do is hit that play button and you'll be in game. Let us know if you're diving into any of the EA Play games and if you've had any issues, and what would you expect to see next on GeForce Now in partnership with EA. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time.